Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi. If you're jamming with friends and someone starts calling out keys to songs, don't get upset. Use your five finger discount scale finder. That's right. You already have one. It's your hand. You see, all keys are made up of seven notes. We use the letters a, B, C, D, E, F, G to represent those notes. In most popular songs we only use some of the notes or some of the chords. Most of the time it is the first, fourth, fifth, and sixth notes that are used. We can use these notes to represent the chords. The first, fourth, and fifth chords are always major. The second, third, and sixth chords are always minor. The seventh chord is always diminished but is hardly used. So we'll just stick to six of the chords. Here's what we're going to do. Each finger will represent a chord in the key. The thumb, ring, and little finger will be major. The index and middle will be minor. And occasionally we will refer to the sixth chord, which is minor. We have three majors and three minors. For many songs, we're going to only need the thumb, the ring finger, and the little finger. Those are the majors. So if we were in the key of A, we would need A, D, and E. So we want to use this finger, this finger, and this finger to remember which chords we're going to be needing for our song. If we decide to use the relative minor, or the minor in the key, we would use a sixth note, which would be F sharp. So our key would wind up being A, D, E, and F sharp minor. The chords would be A, D, E, and those are the majors of the key. That's the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. So if the band leader said, let's go to the one, that's going to be A. You're going to play an A. If he says, go to the five, you're going to play an E major. And if he said, to go to the four, you'd go to a D. If we decided to use the minors in the key, we would use B minor. And that would be the two of the key. C sharp minor, the three of the key, and the six minor of the key, which is used quite a bit. F sharp minor. So most of the time, you're going to encounter in songs the one, the four, the five, and the six minor. Those are the most common places that players go to when they're playing within a key. If we decided to do this in the key of D major, then the thumb, the ring finger, and the little finger would represent D, G, and A. If we decided to use the relative minor, it would be B minor. In the key of D major, D would be the one, G would be the four, 
and A would be the five. Our minor six would be B minor. Now this works with any key as long as we follow the order of the alphabet. Let's use a key that we use all the time in this. G major. Our thumb, ring finger, and little finger would represent G, C, and D. We would have E minor as our minor sixth chord. In the key of G, G would be the one chord. C would be the four chord. D would be the five chord. And of course, E minor would be the minor six. In many arrangements, songs will use the G or the one chord, go to the minor chord, then the four chord, and the five. If we decided to do a flat key, say the key was E flat, the thumb, ring, and little finger would represent E flat, A flat, B flat. Our minor six would be C. E flat would be the one. A flat would be the four. B-flat would be the five. And C minor would be the six minor. Well, there you have it. There's an easy way for you to figure out keys on the fly just by using your five-finger discount scale finder. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.